Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and welcome to HopeForYourCancer.com. If you're watching this, again, it's, you're probably in stage three or stage four cancer. Uh, it's rare that we see somebody in our practice before that. Uh, most people are trying the medical route first, and, and really, if they're doing that and getting a positive response, then some people want to learn more of how, what they can do to make themselves healthier, even if they've survived through you know, uh, going through their medical uh, treatments. Some people aren't lucky enough to survive through their medical treatments and need to really, you know, they're grasping at straws to be able to figure out what they can do to survive and overcome this problem. Um, but again, some people need some medical intervention and that's a fact. Uh, I wanna talk about another topic that I mentioned in another video and I wanna share a little more detail about one of these topics. That's really important, and again, we don't just want to gloss over any of these valuable information I'm sharing with you. We want to really hammer it in so you can learn and you can survive and thrive and live more healthier uh, years on this planet. Uh, this topic I talked about in another diet video, and this all, all of this information that I'm gonna share in this video right now comes out of this textbook called Clinical Oncology, Medical cancer textbook. Uh, and I am not an oncologist. I'm a chiropractic physician. I don't want to be your oncologist. I'm not trying to treat your cancer. I want to say that again. We need to figure out what helps, what has stressed your body so much to where this abnormal cancer development has occurred. Okay? Aflatoxin. Here are direct statements out of this medical textbook, Clinical Oncology. In chapter three of this textbook, carcinogenesis, which means causing of cancer. I'm gonna read this right off the screen. I don't have it memorized, so let me just share this with you. Dietary carcinogens such as aflatoxin were found to cause tumors in animals and were thus suspected of causing cancer in humans. In areas where liver cancer was endemic, a positive correlation was observed between the presence of aflatoxin in the diet and urine levels of aflatoxin metabolites covalently bound to the nucleosides arising from the repair of degrading DNA. What that whole paragraph just said is, cancer can be linked to this fungus called aflatoxin in your diet. Chapter seven, cancer prevention. Viruses leading to cancer. This is not, for, I didn't say this verbatim, but this is verbatim. In chapter seven of cancer prevention, which has not been part of your recommendation most likely in the medical arena. Additionally, aflatoxin B, a potent chemical mutagen that has a predilection for the liver, is found in fungi which contaminate foodstuffs. This potent carcinogen is thought to play a major cofactor role by damaging hepatocytes, those are liver cells, which results in enhanced cellular proliferation and subsequent fixation of genetic damage caused by the virus. So what does it say? In simple layman's terms, the aflatoxin B, which is fungus found in foods, gets into the liver, damages your liver, and when these viruses are in your body, your body can't overcome the virus. That's basically what it says. Several preventative strategies, several preventive, excuse me, strategies therefore appear to be relevant to control of liver cancer. Reduction of aflatoxin B in foodstuffs. Do I need to read that again? Several preventive strategies therefore appear to be relevant to control of liver cancer. Reduction of aflatoxin B in foodstuffs. Well, you're not gonna go out and say, do I see this fungus on this food? I mean, you're not walking up and buying a jar of Peter Pan peanut butter or corn on the cob or your cotton t-shirt or corn oil and saying, well, is there fungus on this? And nobody in the store is even gonna know what you're talking about and probably, possibly, and I'm making a generalization here, some people may know about this in the medical world, but some of your physicians probably don't or never heard of it. Uh, so there has to be strict rules on your diet. There has to be strict rules on detoxing your lymphatic system and detoxing your liver to help your body strengthen its immune system. Aflatoxin as a food contaminant plays a major role in the development of liver cancer. That's another statement out of this chapter. Although uncommon in the US, he, uh, hepatoma is the second leading cause of death 
from cancer in the world. Although it's not the leading cause of cancer or death, I should say, this cancer is not the leading cause of death in the U.S., but it is part of a problem in the U.S. You're watching this video from either the U.S. or Canada, or you live in South America, or you live in Spain, or you live somewhere in Europe or Germany, watching this on the World Wide Web. And um, these things are in foods all around the world. And what this just said is this is the second leading cause of cancer elsewhere in the world. That was the end of that one. So I'd like to thank you again for letting me come into your home and share this with you. And hopefully you will learn a lot from this video and others that are on this website. And uh, hopefully one day we get to meet you and help you. Thank you.